Paths are a lot like polygons that you leave open and are not filled. Paths are great for showing routes. The path tool looks like this and is located here. When you click on the path tool, a familiar dialog box appears. You create a path just like you create a polygon, left clicking to add points, and right clicking to delete them. You can also move a point by left clicking on it and dragging it around. The options for a path are, not surprisingly, very similar to the options for a place mark and a polygon. You can add a name and a description to a path. You can also change the style and color. Under color, you can choose from a color palette. You can increase the width of the path, and you can change the opacity of the path. It's popular to make the path a little thicker than the default and then give it a little transparency. View will give you some information about the camera view of the path. Under the Altitude tab, you can change the mode to one of the absolute modes and then raise the path above the surface of Google Earth. Extend Path to Ground will extrude the path down to the surface. Once checking the Extend to Ground option, we can go back to the Style and Color tab and we see that there is a new option for changing the color of the sides. The Measurements tab will give you the length of the path in various units. Eventually, we will cover how to have a camera follow the course of a path in order to build a tour. Eventually, we will cover how to have the camera follow the course of a path to build a tour. So building a path is a good thing to be familiar with.